the Grower's Gorilla, the world's largest primate, is now critically endangered. Recent surveys by WCS have revealed a 77% population decline across its range. More than 13,000 individuals have been lost in just the last 20 years, with fewer than 4,000 remaining in the wild today. This devastating result means that both gorilla species and all four subspecies are now critically endangered. The loss is due primarily to the illegal hunting of the species for bushmeat, particularly around mining concessions that are often deep in the forests. Working with the help from the Congolese Institute for the Conservation of Nature and Fauna and Flora International, the biological surveys took place across a large swath of war-torn Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo. These forests are controlled by rebel factions vying for territory and the minerals they contain. Ruthless and heavily armed, these rebels make it incredibly dangerous for both the parks and conservation staff who work there. These surveys could not have been completed without the bravery and dedication of Congolese conservation scientists and field assistants who walked more than 12,000 kilometers across this region to obtain the results. For so these surveys, we are aiming to cover a larger area than what has been covered for uh, previous surveys. And how we do this? We are just counting different nests for gorillas. On the 10th of December 2015, park rangers were accompanying WCS scientists surveying the gorilla numbers in Kahuzi Biega National Park when they encountered an illegal camp of miners. Ten of the park rangers moved through the thick forest to arrest the miners. The miners, however, called in members of the local armed militia, leading to an armed confrontation. The ensuing gunfight lasted over 40 minutes. When the bullets stopped flying, park rangers had managed to drive off the militia and arrest five of the miners. But the assault was not yet over. Several escaped militia members recruited reinforcements to free the captured miners and pursued the park rangers and research teams deep into the forest overnight. Only safely exiting the forest the next morning, the park rangers had the miners taken to court and imprisoned. No one was killed or injured during the firefight, but unfortunately, this is not always the case. About 170 park rangers have been killed in Eastern Congo since the civil war began in 1996. These men and women put their lives on the line for conservation. The need is critical to better equip, support and protect these men and women and to look after their families if they are injured or killed in the line of duty. Analyzing the data, only the highland sector of Kahuzi Biega National Park, the focus of WCS's work and surveys in 2000, 2004 and 2010, showed continued increases in the gorilla population. This demonstrates that where sufficient resources are available to the park's authority, it is possible to protect gorillas successfully. WCS is calling for the creation of two critical protected areas to save these gorillas. Itombwe Reserve and the Punia Gorilla Reserve, as well as the regulation of mining sites, the banning of mining in national parks, and increased funding to support local communities and park rangers. Without these interventions, Grower's Gorilla could be lost from many of these sites in as little as the next five years. For more information, or to find out how you can help the conservation of Grower's Gorilla and support the rangers who risk their lives to ensure the gorilla's protection, go to wcs.org.